What's up guys? I got another video for you. This one's probably going to be a shorter one. We're going to check out the Dragon Warhammer. We're going to try to figure out if the Dragon Warhammer is worth it. So we're at Glod, and Glod is known for being sort of a tank, and uh, really it's a simple boss. You just AFK, pray and melee, and you're good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to time every single kill, and we're going to try three times speccing both, but uh, with both specs, you get two specs, 50%. We'll spec right away, and then we'll finish it off with the D sword, and then we'll try three times with just doing the halberd and seeing which one is quicker. By the way, we are two minutes in. I would not recommend using this gear to kill this boss. Um, I'm just doing this because I figured this would be a nice, easy boss to test this on. Uh, if you're actually going to kill this boss, I would recommend use either using uh, Darox or um, Magic. I believe it is weak to Magic, similar to Tecton. So use one of those twos. I definitely wouldn't bring this sort of gear. Um, as you can see, we're at 2 minutes 49 seconds. I don't really know if that's a good time. I'm just used to using DH where the times are a lot better. And a uh, nice little spo spoiler on the on the series. Uh, 500 mil health. Alright, so it died 426. That feels really slow, but I honestly don't know. Did we gain our full spec back? We almost did. I was, I was going to go to the contributor zone to get spec back. Nope, don't need to. <laughs> Five minutes and ten seconds. That feels really slow. That feels really slow. I'm guessing it's the uh, the dragon sword that's the problem. I've been watching it and it's really just hitting a lot of zeros. Either way though, that should not matter in the long... Uh, at, at the end of the... At the but uh, yeah, that really shouldn't matter because the main thing we're testing is if the Dragon Warhammer is better than other items such as maybe Crystal Halberd or something like that. The times kept getting worse. 553. That is insane. Um, I think the issue is definitely the D-Sword, but again, either way, the thing we're testing is which spec weapon's better. So now, let's try this. I'm gonna spec for three times, that's it. I'm not gonna spec anymore. Let's uh, do this. Show you how I'm doing this. Let's get the spec activated. Boom. So there's one, two, and three. Not great specs, so I imagine this is not going to go well, but let's find it. First kill, 534. Uh, pretty slow. Not so, uh, yeah, I guess that would make sense. We didn't really hit anything with the Crystal Halberd. We didn't do anything at all, so I, I guess that makes sense, and then we wouldn't have the defense drain or anything. And 558, so yes, it is definitely going slower without that defense strain. We'll do one more, and then what we'll do is we will get out the DH and just test, test it with DH, because this thing is weak to Slash. Which, honestly, I thought was going to give the Crystal Halberd a slight advantage, in the sense that it has a lot of Slash, but that does not seem to have taken effect. Alright, so it's not even dead yet, and we're already at 540. I'm going to get the official time, I'll do an average, um, I think that the, uh, the Dragon Warhammer is definitely winning in this scenario, the longest, the, the longest one we had, I'm guessing I just hit poorly, I don't recall, I remember one of them I hit a 0 and then I hit like a 78 and then the other ones were like pretty, like I think both hits were 40s-ish, oh, 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 I'll, I'll do like, I'll do like, I'll just do 6 on the dot because I was a little slow. It wouldn't really help this thing. So we're going to go get DH, and we'll do a couple kills and see if that makes any difference in the numbers. Okay, so this is the gear we're going to be using. The uh, We'll start off with the Dragon Warhammer, and then we will try the Halberd. Uh, with the Rock Cake, you cannot kill yourself anymore, so should be pretty easy to maintain one health. What I'm going to do is I will only pot once at the beginning of the fight. Um, I'll keep my prayer up the entire time, and I'll try to stay at one health as, quickly, as, much, as long as I can. So let's clear. Pot up. Pray. And go. So both specs. 32. 45, not bad. And should hit pretty decent, as you can see. So this should go a lot quicker. Alright, so 204 is the time. Obviously, it was twice as fast when not using a dragon sword. I didn't think the dragon sword was going to be as bad as it was. Had I known that it was going to be that bad going into it, I definitely would have started with the DH. Um, now let's try the Crystal Halberd. So, I gotta go get spec. We actually we actually killed it so quick. I have to get spec. All right. So the kill was 244. Uh, yeah, definitely 
the uh, Dragon uh, Warhammer was better. So what I'm going to do now is check a different spec weapon. I'm noticing that the Crystal Halberd is not that great, so maybe it's not a good weapon to compare it to. Let's try something else. All right, so the Abyssal Dagger is pretty much considered the second strongest weapon, and this thing's weak to slash, so again, this... Oh, actually, I think this thing... Is this thing more stab or more slash? Oh, it's more stab, so I guess that doesn't really help. But uh, let's see how this thing fares. So this is interesting. If you look at my time, it looks like we're doing pretty good. The specials were really, really bad. I think it was 0, 0, like 0, 3, 0, 1, and then like 0, 8. They were like really, really bad. But it's just DH is, is killing it. So I really feel like we've learned nothing from this video. Now, obviously, it's still roughly two minutes. It seems like it's not going to beat the Dragon Warhammer. The Dra Dragon Warhammer definitely seems more worthwhile. I checked this boss out, and it has 500 defense, which is pretty hefty to begin with. Um, I would think you would notice more of a difference, but after this kill, I think what we'll do is we'll go try it on a monster that has a lot less defense and see how that affects it. Obviously, if you have no defense, your defense getting lowered will be even much more of an impact. I would, I would, I would assume. So that time ended up being 242, only a smidge faster than the halberd. Which, like I said, makes sense because my specs were really, really bad. Let's try one more time just live. I'm just going to spec it. I only have two attempts. Let's do it. 30-0. That's, that's better than the other ones. 32-0. That's, that's pretty good. And um, the interesting thing was the Crystal Halberd was slashed. So that, that, that bonus doesn't seem to be coming into effect. So as of right now, is it worth it? It's hard to say. It, obviously, at the time, was was far better. I think I think it definitely is worth it. Let's try a different monster, though. Let's let's get let's try to get one more uh, look at it. All right, so we have giant rock crabs. Let's test these bad boys out. We're gonna do essentially the same thing. I am missing a how many this one. Of course, I smack one. I smack one, and it's already somebody already attacked it. Somebody already attacked it. Let me kill this one too to make sure, and I'll go get my spec back. All right, so we got 23 seconds with the dragon warhammer. Okay, so with Crystal Hopper, it took 12 seconds. We comboed it out. We just, I think we, we, we murdered it. We murdered it. Now, I'm going to guess that this is probably going to go about the same way. I'm going to, I'm just going to keep reporting because I'm going to, I'm going to assume that I'm just going to KO it. Y y yeah. Well, actually, I might not KO it, but it's probably going to be, yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to be faster. Is that it? Yeah. Just making sure it's dead. 17 seconds. Yeah. So, it seems like if you're fighting a monster that doesn't have very high defense to begin with, you're probably going to want to use a weapon like Crystal Hubbard or the Missile Dagger. And then if you're fighting something like Glod that is super tanky, you're going to want to bring that defense down. Okay, so we're going to do one final monster. We're going to kill Cerberus. So Cerberus is actually weak to crush. So you'd think that the Drag Warmer would have a very good advantage here. But at the same time, it doesn't have a whole lot of defense in the first place. So this is going to be an interesting one. We'll have to see which one uh, prevails. All right, so we got a time of 116. Keep in mind, I did have to eat a good chunk. Cerberus is not, is not a little puppy. <laughs> it fights back. So the time is 105, which is actually faster than the Dragon Warhammer. The interesting thing, again, about this is the Halberd didn't hit much. For whatever reason, I just took less damage. As you can see, I only ate, you know, I ate a lot less than the last time, um, which is interesting. I guess it just comes down to RNG. To get a real accurate test, you should probably do more than one, but I'm lazy and this is taking longer than I wanted it to. I'm uploading this at like 2 a.m. It, it's, it's, it's a day late already because it's 2 a.m. I said I was going to upload it tonight. It's still technically tonight, but it's 2 a.m., so fuck it. And we get a 103, which is actually the best time. Uh, all times are actually pretty similar. It seems like on this boss, with a sort of medium level defense and a medium level health, that it really doesn't make a whole lot of a difference. I actually feel like I hit pretty high with the Dragon Warhammer, because obviously it is weak to crush. And I do think that the Crystal Halberd and the Dagger did not hit as high as they can, because obviously we've seen crazy hits. So, I think if we were to test this out more, I think we would find that the Warhammer was actually worse here. Um, so in conclusion, the question is, the video is, is it worth it? I actually don't think it is. I feel like, um, obviously I've done rough numbers, and I haven't done proper testing, but I feel like with all what, with all we've done, I would probably rock either the halberd or the dagger. I guess the dagger has 
uh, for special attacks. You know, John and I actually have this. This is funny because John and I have this debate all the time. Is the dagger or the halberd uh, better? He actually likes the dagger. It's my dagger, but like, I just gave it to him because he likes it more and I like the halberd more. But if you look at the numbers, the dagger is is pretty consistent with the ha halberd and the, the thing was you get an extra spec. There's four specs instead of three. Um, so I think they're very similar. Whichever one you use is really your preference. And it probably depends on your boss. If you're fighting a boss that's weak to slash, you're going to want to use a halberd. If you're fighting a boss that's weak to crush, maybe you could use a dragon warhammer. And then if you're fighting a monster that's weak to stab, you're probably going to want to rock the Abyssal Dagger. So the question is, should we buff it? And uh, I'll let you guys put your thoughts on that. I'm thinking we should definitely at least, at the very least, take a look at it. But uh, thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed.